Uh, good morning. Uh, Holium laser nucleation of the prostate, or HOLUP, is a uh, surgical treatment for uh, BPH. The current standard of uh, practice is admission overnight in a hospital following the procedure. Our question was whether outpatient HOLUP is uh, safe and feasible. There are several reported advantages of the HOLUP uh, compared to a traditional uh, transducal resection of the prostate. Because of the hemostatic uh, properties of the homium YAG laser, there's minimal bleeding during the operation. There's a transfusion rate of less than one in a thousand reported. There's no limitation of prostate size that can be resected. Uh, essentially, it's a uh, endoscopic uh, version of the uh, simple prostatectomy. Uh, and because normal saline irrigant is used, there's no TUR syndrome. Several uh, randomized clinical trials have shown a decreased morbidity in terms of decreased catheterization time and decrease uh, length of hospital stay comparison to the TURB. Uh, the technique we use, we use a 26 French sheath uh, with continuous flow of 550 micrometer uh, laser fiber at high energy levels. The median lobe is first nucleated followed by the lateral lobes. Uh, tissue morphization is uh, done under direct uh, endoscopic vision within the bladder. Just to describe the technique a bit more, uh, a groove is cut alongside uh, the median lobe from the bladder neck to the very montanum. This is done on both sides of the median lobe. And then in a retrograde fashion from the very montanum to the bladder neck, uh, the uh, median lobe is nucleated down to the surgical capsule. The lateral lobe is incised at the apical um, margin uh, from the six o'clock to nine o'clock position on the right lobe. And then this is carried down to the surgical capsule. This is uh, connected uh, to an uh, incision made on the anterior portion of the prostate at the 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock position. And then in a retrograde fashion, the uh, lateral lobe is nucleated uh, into the bladder. The final tissue defect is large. Approximately 80% of the prostate volume is removed and the surgical capsule remains. The whole up experience at Vancouver Hospital is a single surgeon at the surgical daycare center uh, over the span of one year. Uh, 43 patients were uh, uh, operated on, and most of them were of low anesthesia risk of 2 to 3. Most of them were high risk uh, with regards to the prostate surgery, in being that 12 patients were preoperatively anticoagulated, and the majority had a large prostate size. Uh, 31 of the patients had a prostate size greater than 60 grams, and uh, 23 of the patients had uh, retention for more than 4 weeks. As well, there's 4 patients that had previous uh, TERPs before this procedure. In terms of preoperative parameters, the median age was 70, uh, median AUA symptom score was uh, 20 out of 35, and quality of life index was 4 out of 6. The uh, peak flow rate was 9.2, and a uh, post board residual of 156 cc's. Preoperative PSA was 3.1, and the uh, trust determined prostate volume was 74 grams. In terms of operative results, uh, it's quite comparable to that reported in the literature. Uh, the median enucleation time is 50 minutes, morselation time is 10 minutes, and total operative time is 80 minutes. Uh, there's a large median uh, specimen weight of 71 grams, upwards to 226 grams that was successfully resected. All procedures were successfully performed. In terms of stratifying the operative results uh, uh, with respect to uh, the amount of prostate tissue resected, uh, the clinically significant difference uh, is between those prostates that are less than 60 grams and those that are greater than 60 grams in the far left side, uh, taking a look at enucleation time. The general trend is that uh, with larger prostate sizes, uh, it's increased enucleation, morselation, and total procedure time. Now, is outpatient hold-up feasible? Uh, yes, it is. 32 of the 43 patients uh, were performed as outpatients with a median um, post-op length of stay being four hours. Of the 11 patients that required overnight stay, one was a planned preoperative uh, admission uh, because of high anesthesia risk, two were admitted because of reduced mobility, and uh, eight were admitted because of bleeding, two of which were due to the recent use of aspirin. Uh, using a uh, Wilcox uh, rank sum uh, test, there is no association between um, the uh, amount of prostate resected and the need for hospital admission. Uh, there are no readmissions or emergency visits uh, after discharge to, uh, from hospital. Uh, the catheter was removed on post-op day one in uh, greater than 70% of patients. Uh, one patient did require a blood transfusion. Uh, anticoagulant patients resumed treatment within the first week. 
uh, with uh, the patients resuming their usual Coumadin dose on post-op day one, and all patients were avoiding spontaneously after the procedure. Taking a look at the uh, median AUA symptom score, uh, preoperatively it was in the uh, severe range at 20, and then at three months it dropped down to a mild symptom score of nine at three months, and then uh, a mild symptom score of four at six months. The bother score similarly decreased from four to two to one at three and six months respectively. As well, the uh, peak flow rates uh, increased from a preoperative level of less than 10 cc's per second uh, to greater than 20 at three and six months. Uh, post-void residual also improved from uh, post-void of uh, greater than 140 to less than 40 at three and six months. As well, the, uh, there was a 80% uh, decrease in the PSA uh, comparing the six-month PSA to the preoperative and uh, this uh, correlates with the amount of tissue that was resected. So in conclusion, uh, outpatient uh, hole-up is feasible and safe, especially in those patients that are high risk. And these are patients with large prostates and those patients that are anticoagulated. Uh, Long-term follow-up is needed in terms of assessing the AUA symptom score as well as the uh, uh, urofluometry. And long-term complications such as strictures, incontinence, and erectile dysfunction uh, need to be uh, evaluated as well. Thank you.